The chart supplement provides detailed airport information, critical for safe cross-country flight and helicopters. It complements the VFR charts by offering in-depth data on facilities, services, and operational procedures for airports. Chart supplements offer airport identification, runway information, communication frequencies, tower and ground frequencies, operational procedures, and obstacles or hazards. They also list services and facilities at the airport, things like fuel availability, FBO services. During pre-flight planning, you want to verify the runway dimensions, surfaces, and lighting are suitable for your helicopter's performance characteristics, especially considering factors like weight, wind, and temperature. For communications, note all relevant communications frequencies, including those for approach, tower control, and ground control, and weather services to ensure that you can maintain contact with ATC and other aircraft during your arrival. Review any special procedures or traffic patterns details to avoid surprises during your approach and landing. Pay attention to non-standard traffic patterns or noise abatement procedures. Using the chart supplement to find fuel maintenance services and crew facilities after landing. This can also help with planning for the next leg of your journey. Using the chart supplement ensures that you are well prepared for all aspects of your destination airport, leading to a smoother and safer arrival during your helicopter cross-country flight. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. If you want to learn more about helicopters, I have a free course on getting started with helicopters. I also have a course on how to pay for flight school, and I also have a course on getting your private helicopter license. I'd love to help you out. Links are all down in the description below.